God, it's Pastor Stephen. I'm at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville on Friday, March 19, a couple days after St. Patrick's Day. And this is Corn Vlog 160. And uh, this week, I've remembered what it was like one year ago as the pandemic began and we had to to uh, they said for two weeks we're gonna shut down things to try to slow this this virus and it's just it's been a year now but it was on St. Patrick's Day that I thought you know well, there's this song I've been singing for 25 years maybe 30 years every St. Patrick's Day with people and now I can't get together with people so I just decided to record it I set my my phone on a, the stairs about six steps up and I stepped down about six steps so it was about uh, eye level and I sang the Wild Rover a, an Irish song and the next day Siggy said you should have done Danny Boy. So I did Danny Boy and then I just started doing a song every day and that was helpful to me. So this week being St. Patrick's Day week, number one, I wanted to record a couple of Irish songs. It turns out I will have one for every day of the week beginning with that Irish blessing. May the Father now bless you, that one. And um, I was asked out of the blue to uh, just one week with one week notice to sing some Irish songs at Walnut Woods where our friend Marie Hausman is and I went there I had a great time socially distanced but very good to see her and some of the other residents that remembered me from other times I've been there to sing and I sang about 14 or 15 songs and shared some limericks and some poems and some blessings and I'm going to share a couple of those blessings a little bit later but first a little bit of news uh, one of our members Diana Joseph has gotten news this week from her doctor after being hospitalized for shingles, which meant she got blood tests, which meant that they saw other things. Her cancer is back, and her doctor contacted her and said that she is dying, and she only has weeks or a couple months to live. And so she's in a mode now of, uh, she's a lovely woman, a couple of teenage boys, a single mother, and uh, she's been a part of this group called Wings of Hope that tries to rally around people with cancer. She's been an advocate for others that have been uh, struggling with cancer, and now it's her turn to receive some of the love and hope. And I talked to her briefly today. She has just been inundated with calls, including from uh, medical people and friends and people that are concerned, and it's just kind of exhausting on top of everything. But um, she let me know it is okay for us to for me to share that she has been got, given that prognosis. Um, she just has a, matter, a short matter of time. And so we are praying for her and for this transition and for her goodbyes. And it is it is a very sad part of life, but it's, it's real. So we're going to hear our prayers. And I also spoke with Miriam Reiner, who um, was pretty quiet about she had uh, an issue with cancer about a year ago and some back and she needs some some procedures and treatment and it will be, be be hard and so we're praying for that here so I ask you to pray with me for them and uh, oh, it's too windy here I just talked with Judy Flickinger who organizes our uh, prayer team and also prayer partners and I did get a lovely card from my secret prayer partner and um, that, that you're sharing it with today for your secret prayer for a person. And also, we have a prayer vigil on Good Friday. And at this point, I just checked the list, we have 15 signed up for the 24 hours, which means there are nine hours still not signed up for. So if you'd like to do that, you can either sign up on Sunday, it's in the library, or you can talk to Judy Flick and Church and get your name on the list. I think those are the main things I need to, to share right now. Oh yeah, um, Sarah Erdman and Julio Trejo are getting married. We have the rehearsal tonight. And uh, so my last song tomorrow on their wedding day will be a song called Jol Golden Jubilee about a couple that comes to 50 years. 
and, uh, and so they're celebrating. So, so you'll see that. Well, if you are, check on YouTube, I'm not going to post it on. Uh, oh, I will post it. So anyway, Golden Jubilee. Look for that. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my pages. So here's a, an Irish wedding toast: May your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. And here's some advice that I also share in my little Irish program. Always remember to forget the things that made you sad, but never forget to remember the things that made you glad. Always remember to forget the friends that proved untrue, but never forget to remember those that have stuck by you. Always remember to forget the troubles that passed your way, but never forget to remember the blessings that come each day. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray that you help us remember the good and let go of the bad. As we do that, we think of two dear sisters that are um, in very different circumstances, but both struggling with cancer. And we know there are many others that are struggling. We pray that you give strength and warmth and help, especially through friends and loved ones. Um, give them the strength that they need uh, to draw close to you in these days. Irish blessing. Here it is. May the road rise to... Come on. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. <laughs> it's at my front right now. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. God bless you.